Hey everybody. Sorry, we have to be a little quiet. This is Mickey. This is the middle cat. Hi, buddy. He's a little one that's a little scared and sketchy. We have the other two just watching us. What's happening? So I'm David Chinelli. I'm a realtor with Boiler Page Signature and today is Stager's Corner. With me, I like to bring my I'd like to introduce my lovely wife. <laughs> I'd like to bring my, my lovely wife Natalie. Bailey Chinelli, co-owner of Faces Collective. There you go. Um, okay, I'll try not to raise my voice too much so the cat doesn't get too scared. Okay, Natalie, so today's topic is lead times for inventory. Whether it's, so if we're talking about staging inventory, we're talking bedding, we're talking furniture, we're talking soft pictures, etc. cetera. How are, how are you finding the market these days and how's it affecting your lead time, which ultimately affects your listings? Oh yeah, so it's a bit tricky these days. Um, we've got a number of large projects out that aren't turning as quickly as they would have in let's say january february um so really that affects us by not being able to take that inventory and allocate it to a new project as soon as we know that it's uh, that it's coming back so um our initial terms are 30 days and typically we'll get things back within i'd say 25 to 30 days so you can plan on it um, now we're looking more at 30 to 45 in many instances um, across the board. So, you know, whoa, there we go. Um, sorry for the yums, now I'm gonna get a little bit itchy. <laughs> Even some condos, depending on the price point, I think it, it really breaks down to, to price point. If you're still under a million, things are going fairly quickly mm -hmm. or fairly at the same pace as they, they used to be. Um, anything in that, you know, Two and a half to We're even four. finding anything over even the one the one point yeah. seven mark is also taking some time too, right? It's yeah. they're not just flying off the shelves, so it's inventory's definitely changed. So ultimately how does that affect you? Well, first off, somebody has to pay for staging, whether it's your realtor that covers the cost, uh, which ultimately you know that you're gonna have to pay you know, or is it the homeowner that's paying it? Either way it's affecting you. So uh, it's no longer like, oh, we only have to have the staging for you know, 30 days, which you know is their shortest time that they can have. Now we have to start pricing in, well, what if it stays on the market a month and a half, two months, mm -hmm. uh, therefore price changes too as well. So yeah, ultimately it affects you as the homeowner selling your home. So either one way or another way, the staging um, the prices are probably going to go up. And not just just because it's your lead time. Not because the actual price is going up, you know, because it's going to take longer to sell. Why well, look at me like that? Do you mean not the price of, not our, anyway, Yes, it? not you, because it's like, well, yes. we used to take less than 30 days, now it might take 60 days, so yeah. therefore the price is so As the client more. or the realtor, the cost of staging will increase because of the length of time that something will need to be out versus before. Is that what we're saying? That's exactly what I'm saying. Okay. Makes sense? Now it does. <laughs> All right, if you want to DM her, how do you get in touch with her? <laughs> On Instagram at spaces.collective. Great, and DM me. I'm gonna to try to get out of the status corner sooner or later with some of my dignity. <laughs> Maybe not. Bye. Bye. <laughs>